Hello Budgie Nation and Cocktail Nation! In today's video we are talking why your budgie is losing feathers. Budgie molting is the timely replacement of old feathers on the body, tail and wings with new ones, and is a very common phenomenon in most parrot species. Budgie molting can be compared with ecdysis, which is the process of skin shedding in humans, snakes, and lots of other mammals. The only difference is the frequency of replacement. In budgies, molting is a yearly process, while the skin shedding process happens three to eight times a year. People who never have owned a bird pet or budgie get scared when they see the molting process because usually, during molting, the cage of budgies gets filled with old feathers. Not only that, but the budgies also develop needle or string-like tentacles all over the places on their bodies where they've lost feathers. Molting is a natural cycle that happens in budgies, like all the other body cycles, once every year. It is worrisome for pet owners when molting happens in young budgies. But the truth is that molting starts in budgies at the age of three months. And budgies get lazy during the molting period and they might also look sick, but it is nothing to worry about. Sometimes, molting also starts due to the hormonal factor, like when a budgie is trying to impress a mating partner, so that's also common. But Budgies do not lose all the feathers at once. Instead, they lose them gradually, that giving new feathers the time to grow. And it also keeps the budgies warm and cozy, and in the early stage of molting, budgies can easily fly too. Sometimes, the molting process in budgies stalls mainly because they are not getting the proper nutrition or care that they need during the molting period. If the molting process is disturbed due to any factor, then it leaves budgies with bald patches and bald spots. So, budgies' owners need to take care of them and provide them all the comfort that they can. And if nothing helps, then there is an immediate need to see a vet for the budgie. And the vet will diagnose the abnormality, otherwise the budgie may develop a disease that's called French molt. In that disease, the feathers of budgies get removed and then they never grow back, leaving the budgie all bare and bald. Then he will never be able to fly, and it will also cause other problems like viral attacks and so much more. Sometimes small creatures that are called feather mites start residing in the feathers of budgies, and then they cause extreme discomfort and loss of feathers to the birds. These mites are commonly called aviary pests or aviary parasites. And the owners confuse the loss of feathers due to mites with molting. So it is very important to check your budgie properly and see for mites or even lice in their feathers. And for that regular bathing and cleanliness is very important for budgies. Pen feathers are very sharp and pointy structures that grow all over the budgie's bodies. These pen feathers are covered with a sheathing that is made up of keratin, and they transform into new complete feathers over the course of two to three weeks maximum. They do not cause any physical pain to the budgies, but the behavior of budgies during the molting definitely changes. Pen feathers can be compared to beard hair that grows right back after shaving and they are not necessarily hurtful, but they can cause slight discomfort and are quite itchy. A fun fact about pin feathers is that all of them have a blood vein inside them, which subsides with time as the feather grows. But the presence of veins makes the feathers extremely sensitive to touch, and that's why when the owners try to hold their budgies during the molting period, they show resilience or act grumpy. Some budgies start to bite because of the itching caused by the pin feathers and they are unable to scratch the pin feathers because of their sensitive nature. So they develop extreme anger issues and are jumping more than usual. 
All of this is a normal episode during the early stage. And when the owners try to pacify their budgies, they bite them or hurt them in one way or another. So the best thing a budgie owner can do is to leave their budgies on their own and wait for the episode to pass. Molting is a very uncomfortable period for budgies, as their feathers are shedding. And the growth of new feathers requires tons of energy and nutrition. So budgies are not necessarily happy and cheerful at the time of molting. In fact, during the molting period, a budgie doesn't even like to sing or play with his toys. And most of the time, budgies hate to even interact with their owners. And there is nothing wrong with it, because as soon as the molting period ends, budgies start acting normally. So, to ease the process and end it quickly, owners should deal with their budgies politely and provide them with all the nutrition they need. One thing that helps a lot with molting in budgies is regular bathing with warm water. Warm water not only soothes the skin of budgies, but also softens it and helps with the itchiness. Most of the budgies love bathing during their feathers shedding phase. Most of the time, molting is not molting in actual, instead it is some sort of viral infection or a skin disease. So, pet owners need to take care of their budgies and make regular appointments with the veterinary doctor, especially when they see excessive feather loss at an unusual time of the year. This is so that the vet can spot the problem on time and make their budgie friend free from all the pain. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you learned even more about budgies. Watch next, previous video, or top five budgie care tips for beginners. Visit our official webpage for more information and budgie care.